Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, it's been pretty crazy summer, uh, you know, trying to do some stuff with family and stuff like that too, whenever there's time. And it was a great summer. We had some great weather, so we definitely had to take advantage of that. The other thing though too is that uh, it was pretty busy, uh, shifting jobs and, you know, and then I've been doing some other stuff on the side, uh, like building tables. So, I may be the basic painter, but I'm kind of like the basic everything. <laughs> you know, if it's creating something, painting something, molding, sculpting, building, I pretty much do it. Right? I even built the house that I live in. So, um, today is going to be kind of a different video. Today is about building um, a gaming table. It's for gaming still, so it's still all about gaming you know but i just did some short videos at the end of how like how it looks and of course i have some pictures along the way during the construction of it right just to kind of give you an idea of how it went together you know so it's it's not going to be a super long video uh it's not going to go into great detail on how i made it um of course you know like subscribe and comment right and you know, put comments down. Like, if you want to see more of how I built it, uh, you know, or you want details on how I built it, like measurements and, you know, whatnot, and material that I used and, you know, where I got it, um, whatever that I don't mention, if there's anything that you want to know, just leave comments and I'll, uh, I'll fill it in. Um, I could always do another video as well uh, the next time I do another table, right? Because it looks as though I have somebody else that wants another one of these tables just like this one so I could do a full complete video um, during the creation of this table it's the first of its kind like so there's there's no other uh, table out there exactly the same as this you'll see ones that look similar right because it is a game table it has you know the ledge right that comes down so that your dice don't go flying off the table when you roll uh, you know and stuff like that it's got the felt you know it's made of oak you know it's it's a beautiful looking table but um it's no one else's design this is my design uh and i think it turned out pretty good so let me show you some pictures and i'll show you exactly what i'm talking about so first things first you got to get some good quality wood like oak and of course you got to go to a place where you can get rough lumber for cheap you go to a place like home depot get it already pre-planed down it's going to cost you an arm and a leg right so i use my planer here and as you can see the rough wood that i had i turned it into nicer looking oak wood like this for the table now here you're going to see a piece of plywood that i cut down to six by four and i'm going to attach what you can see clamped together here, which is pine laminated together with the oak strips to create the rails to go around that six by four sheet of plywood that I got from Home Depot. Now, in additions to that, attached around the edge underneath is going to be these two by four pieces that I've used in my planer and brought down to a nice edge and I've marked where I'm gonna have them notched together using my vertical bandsaw and some chisels to chisel out the pieces and then file down, notch them together and make these go around the edges of the table, creating what's gonna be what really stiffens it up and also for what the legs are going to attach to afterwards. So seeing here where it's notched, each one of them is notched the same, just like that with a 45 degree angle on the edge, just to kind of add a little bit of an appeal to it, make it look nicer. And you'll see here as they go around and the screws going through, that's actually holding all the way through from the bottom, holding the rails all the way around. And you can see the screws protrude out by about a quarter or three eighths of an inch. That's because those screws when backed off after they're going to go right into the top part of the table too, really fastening everything all together. So here 
is where you can see the notches of the two fitting together and you can also see how I've doweled screws in the sides and they will be covered in so you won't even see those screws and sanded down so it's attached to the rails all the way along all the way around giving it good structural strength and here it is all attached together the screws sticking out that those screws will stick through the top part of basically the ledge that goes all the way around that's made out of oak it's gonna look pretty good it's starting to come together now that's your bed that bed is going to be all done in felt which is going to look fantastic and that'll be what you play your games on and you have your ledge that goes all the way around that you can lean against and so far everything's coming together quite well so now i'm getting prepared getting the oak ledges around or edges or whatever basically glued down which everything's all glued together and screwed but clamped glued getting that all into place here now after that's all done i've also gone and take a little quarter inch strip and put it around bordered all the way around as well just to tie everything all together nicely as you can see here everything's got a butt joint but it's a staggered butt joint from corner to corner right and then the legs i made out of a cedar post make them fairly light and we've got them bolted in and here is the table all together now with the legs and everything and all we had to do is just slap the center board in there to say here it is now fully assembled now the next step is to add some stain so I went with uh, you know a dark oak stain you know turned it really good just getting ready here now to put the felt after two loads of stain got the verithane done got the felt on and now it's looking pretty sharp and here it is finished beautiful looking table decided to set up a game on this new table before it shipped out the next day it's uh <clears throat> it's perfect <laughs> it's pretty cool i might have to just build one for myself but if we flip around here that's crazy how detailed this camera is you can see the grain in the wood so this is oak it actually looks like that's right up off of there but it's not that's actually smooth that's really neat So we decided to set up Rising Sun. I just wish I had some people here to play it right now, it'd be great. You know, we started out the channel by actually painting these little guys. And, you know, I had started working on the Bonsai Clan. And we got sidetracked with Kickstarters and all kinds of other games and stuff going on. Never really got back to Rising Sun yet, but you know, I think we're going to see some more Rising Sun soon on the channel because, well, I got to get these guys painted. This is one of, probably my favorite game, really, uh, to, to play. One of them, anyway. Um, just because it's, it's, it's so involved. There's so much to do. It's so much fun to play. And it's not like Risk you know where it's just global domination or take everything over like you have to move around you have to do battles in different continents right or you're not gonna you're not gonna win or you know you uh, win by strategy of the type of cards you end up purchasing and uh, the way that you train your your clan and whatnot you know and also with uh, these guys as you purchase them as you can see these are all painted some of them have gone on the channel. There's one lonely guy back there that isn't done. But other than that, all these guys are finished. I like the finish too. It's nice to be fantastic. But this table fits this game perfectly. This is set up right now for six players, so a full game. So if I was sitting here with the turtle clan you know I would start with my main dude here and 
one of these guys and one of those guys. But as you can see, I can reach, you know, pretty much everywhere. And if I had to, if I stood up, I can reach up here. You know, it's, it's pretty much perfect. And it leaves enough room to be able to still set up my little cheat sheet blind card here and my, my war advantages or on the other side of course is our political mandates. I'll go more into this at another time, maybe once we get some more characters painted. This was more or less about this table and you know this is a big, big game. There's a lot of stuff in here. You know, it's like playing Twilight Imperium or something. Like, there's there's so much stuff to do. There's so many little figures, and you need the space. And this table is just perfect. The inside of the table, again, is four feet. The outside, or the four feet by six feet. You know, and then you've got this, you know, five, a little over five inch lip for you to, you know, rest up against. Right, and then you've got this dip down so the table already. Look at that. With this felt here, I'm just it's nice. You know, when you roll dice, it's nice and quiet. Alright, and this is a regular game table. This is like what you see on the dice tower and stuff like that. Right, where you have this lip. Right? So when you roll dice, you can't roll right off the table. It keeps everything on the table. Not bad. So, currently building these for a few people, and uh, I really like this one. It turned out great. You know, just how it's just that edge look to it. I didn't go crazy. I didn't do all kinds of swirly anything. Just kept it nice, sharp, straight edges, and uh, yeah, I think it looks good. So. There's a video for the first for many I haven't done for a while since the summer's been so busy. Right, uh, we'll get in, probably be getting back into doing some Gloomhaven. Right, but I think between Gloomhaven, maybe we might just do a little bit of this. I have gotten a couple of Kickstarters I need to do. I did some painting while out camping in that as well, which I've got some video footage for that I still have to compile. You know, so lots of stuff. To, you know, it's gonna be pretty cool. Either way. Until next time.